exclusive new poll is breaking down who's on top in the nationally watched race for Georgia's 6th congressional district. There are 18 candidates vying for the one seat. Democrat John Ossoff is in the lead with 45%. Republican Karen Handel is second with 17. Channel 2's Richard Elliott is live in Midtown Atlanta with what experts say the other candidates need to do to try to make this a runoff. Richard? Yeah, remember, this is an open race special election, meaning Republicans and Democrats are in it together. It is not a primary. There are so many candidates that it's virtually impossible for any one of them to win it outright. We saw long lines at this Sandy Springs polling place as people voted early in the sixth congressional race. The exclusive WSB landmark communication poll shows Democrat John Ossoff with 45%, still well below the 50% plus one needed to win outright. Republican Karen Handel, second with 17%. With so much money spent on Ossoff's campaign, GOP strategist Brian Robinson believes the Democrats should be further ahead. The bad news for him is that he had $8 million. I mean, no one in this race has come anywhere near to the resources that he has, and he only has 45%. Republicans Bob Gray, third at 8.6%, Dan Moody, fourth at 8.4%, and Judson Hill, fifth with 8%. With 7% undecided and a 4% margin of error, Democratic strategist Theron Johnson believes there's still a chance someone can catch Handel. Karen Handel's got to figure out a way because she's one of the most seasoned politicians in the race, has run statewide before and pretty much well known. But now's an opportunity for one of those Republicans who are in third and fourth and fifth place to maybe make a run at the end to try to get in second place. Landmark Communications President Mark Roundtree says this race has been difficult to pull because of the large number of candidates and the millions of ad dollars poured into it. There are millions of dollars that are being spent um, beating up these phones and so actually getting people to participate in a two or three minute survey is hard enough as it is. Now, of course, the election is Tuesday. The top two candidates advance to the June runoff. We are live in Midtown. Richard Elliott, Channel 2 Action News.